Hi, I'd like to welcome you tonight to this uh, talk on low energy nu nuclear reactions. Sometimes people call it linear uh, technology. I ha I'm Dr. Catherine Zeman. I'm the director of the Recycling and Reuse Technology Transfer Center. We're one of the sponsors of this talk, along with uh, Ms. Pat Higby of the Center for Energy, Environment, and Education. So um, I'm glad that everyone is here tonight. We're recording this session, just so everyone knows, so that we can actually make it available on our website. And I have to say, when Pat first came to me about this, I thought, cold fusion. Hmm, <laughs> here. But as I looked into it, I became very fascinated with how many experiments have been done in the area, how much it had been replicated, and it just gets a little more exciting the more you learn about it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to learning more about it myself tonight. Again, please, if you have time you know, during the coming week, check out our website at www.rrttc.com and uh, you can find out about the activities that our TTC sponsors, get signed up for our blast emails, and uh, get involved in some of the good activities that we do around sustainability issues, solid waste, uh, community, environmental health, et cetera. So with that, thank you for coming. And I'd like uh, Pat to go ahead and introduce our guest tonight. OK, thank you, Catherine. I was a student here at UNI in the 1970s, early 1970s, when cold fusion was first hitting the, um, the airwaves. And I was so excited about it. I was a physics major. And I was just, we were just so enthralled with the promise of it. And then um, when it didn't quite pan out then, here we are, how many years later? 24. 24 years later. And you know, sometimes it takes a technology a while to develop. And so I'm just so thrilled that we can learn some more about it now. And I can start to close that loop of what I did when I was first started here. Um, we are recording this. So please, if you have a cell phone, if you would um, quiet it, that would be wonderful. We'd appreciate that. And I'll read this short biography that Tom gave me. Mr. Wind is the owner of Wind Utility Consulting PC. As a consulting engineer, Mr. Wind specializes in electric utility planning and wind generation projects. You can see he's aptly named. <laughs> He graduated from Iowa State University in 1974 with a BS in electrical engineering. He was employed at Iowa Southern Utilities for 15 years before becoming a self-employed consulting electrical engineer. He has provided consulting services for numerous municipal and cooperative utilities on energy-related projects and has provided engineering services for two dozen successful wind projects totaling 80 megawatts. I know Tom because we served together on the Iowa Power Fund, and his wisdom and guidance helped us to choose some really fabulous projects for that uh, activity. So it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you Tom Wynn. 